Is Michio Kaku right, and are quantum computers heralding the next revolution? If what Kaku sees for our future is true, we will soon be living in a completely different world. Quantum computers are capable of changing almost every aspect of our daily lives. But they also harbor dangers, and the popular scientist from the USA warns of this too. What happens if the technology falls into the hands of terrorists or cyber criminals? And can computers themselves become a danger? Let's travel together to the year 2044. 20 years after the introduction of quantum computers, the world has changed fundamentally. The introduction of this revolutionary technology has led to immense breakthroughs in almost all areas of human life. What was once considered science fiction has become reality. The ability of quantum computers to perform complex calculations in a matter of seconds has accelerated scientific research to the speed of light. In medicine, this step has enabled the development of personalized treatment methods at a molecular level. Diseases such as cancer and Alzheimer's were suddenly curable. Material science has produced novel substances that are ultra-light and extremely durable, leading to revolutionary changes in construction, transportation, and everyday objects. Quantum computing has made the long-awaited fusion technology a reality. Thanks to new resources, mankind has unlimited clean energy at low prices. The end of the global energy crisis has ended the monopolies of oil and gas-producing countries and brought more peace to the world. The environmental sciences also benefited enormously, as quantum computers were able to create precise climate models, and almost all areas of the economy and industry were converted to effective sustainability. Humans have received solutions to climate change from quantum intelligence and are working to restore global ecosystems. The efficiency and speed of quantum computers have made financial markets more transparent and stable through highly accurate predictive models. In industry, quantum computers have redefined supply chain optimization and risk management, leading to unprecedented levels of productivity. Education systems around the world have adapted to the new realities by restructuring curricula Entirely new professions have been created in a world dominated by quantum technologies, and children are being individually trained and later educated according to their abilities. In society and in daily life, this has led to more satisfaction and leisure time. Many more people are experiencing prosperity and a fulfilling life. Intelligent systems powered by quantum computers optimize energy consumption, improve safety, and increase the comfort of life. Digital security has reached an unprecedented standard, with quantum cryptography protecting privacy and data integrity. Of course, computers will also enable mankind to slowly conquer space. Spaceships will be made of completely different materials, much lighter and faster. Quantum computers will have solved the problem of warp propulsion in a matter of seconds, and humanity will be on its way to exploring space. Missions to distant worlds and contact with other life forms are about to become a reality. It will no longer be a problem for the latest forms of quantum computing to calculate where we need to look for friendly civilizations in space and how we can make contact. At the moment, this is still fictitious, but this era will come because quantum computers are coming. You can think of it like the time in the late 50s or 60s when scientists and engineers were researching the first gigantic computers. Just a decade later, we had the first portable computers, then laptops, tablets, and smartphones from mainframes to quantum computers. At the moment, the first quantum computers are already in use, but they are still very large and cumbersome machines. Futuristic structures are being tested and improved in specially isolated rooms. The current generation of quantum computers is extremely sensitive to vibrations and overheating. In 2024, we are already on the threshold of a new era of computer technology, and it's only a matter of time before quantum computers become suitable for everyday use. Since their invention, computers have undergone a remarkable evolution. From the first mechanical calculators to electronic tube computers, the introduction of transistors that paved the way for the digital revolution, to today's highly complex integrated circuits that combine billions of transistors on a single chip, this development took place over 50 to 60 years, and we can expect the development of quantum computers to progress even faster. The transition to quantum computing represents a paradigm shift based entirely on the principles of quantum mechanics. 
Engineers and scientists came up with the idea because the laws of classical physics are not sufficient to describe phenomena at the subatomic level. Richard Feynman, one of the great pioneers in this field, realized in the 1980s that a computer based on quantum mechanics would have the ability to perform calculations that are practically impossible for classical computers. This realization is now paving the way for the first real quantum computers. The differences between quantum computers and current computers are like switching from a bicycle to a Porsche. While conventional computers process information in binary form as a sequence of zeros and ones, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits. Conventional bits could only ever express one state, but thanks to superposition, quantum bits can assume not just two, but countless states simultaneously. This ability to superimpose, together with the phenomenon of entanglement, enables incredible data series to be processed in the shortest possible time, and several calculations can run in parallel. Current problems such as the factorization of large numbers or the simulation of complex quantum mechanical systems are then solved. Although the technology currently still faces challenges such as maintaining qubit coherence and scalability, the change is already here. The way we process data, communicate, and solve complex problems will literally take a quantum leap in the next 10 years. Quantum Physics and Computing – Where are the Interfaces? Let us reiterate. In the 1980s, scientists realized that we could no longer keep up with the old calculations in the subatomic realm. The subatomic world is the world of quanta, quarks, and other unimaginably tiny particles. These show us a dimension of reality that exists, but is no longer based on the rules of our known physics. Who should know more about these worlds than the quanta themselves? Quanta are particles of light, photons, and the building blocks of matter. The nature of particles has already given us many a scientific shock. The double-slit experiment showed that reality is only manifest when we observe it, and Schrodinger's cat proved that there can be several realities at the same time. Quanta exist in many times and realities at the same time, and they are very probably the bridge to other dimensions if they exist. Quantum computers make use of the strange principles of quantum mechanics and solve problems that are beyond the reach of classical computers. Two central quantum phenomena initially play the decisive role here, superposition and entanglement, which scientists refer to as entanglement. Superposition allows a quantum bit to be in a state of zero and one at the same time, while a classical bit is either in a state of zero or one. This ability allows quantum computers to perform many calculations simultaneously. In entanglement, the state of one particle is directly linked to the state of another particle, regardless of the distance between the two. This phenomenon enables a kind of communicative connection between qubits that goes far beyond the connectivity of classical, analog, or digital worlds. These principles mean that quantum computers are theoretically capable of performing certain types of computation much faster than classical computers, and they may be able to form networks without the computers being connected in the classical way. In a further development, qubits could communicate with quanta throughout the universe, making virtually every corner of the cosmos accessible to us. Michio Kaku believes this about the future. Michio Kaku, the renowned theoretical physicist and advocate of quantum technologies, predicts a technological revolution, but also warns of the dangers. Kaku speaks of the possibility that quantum computers will not only revolutionize the way we treat diseases and generate energy, but also how we understand the universe. He envisions a future in which quantum computers could help unlock some of the deepest mysteries of physics, including dark matter, dark energy, and the unity of all forces in the universe. In his lectures and writings, Kaku emphasizes that we are only at the beginning of the quantum age and that the full implications of this technology have yet to be realized. He also sees the potential for a major crisis to be triggered by quantum computing. Politics, business, and secret services could suddenly be exposed if lies and manipulations are revealed by the new machines. Michio Kaku, who is a passionate futurologist and visionary in addition to his physics, is also certain that we need this change, even if it might be difficult at first. Despite their enormous potential, quantum computers have potential for misuse. The extraordinary computing power of quantum computers could, in the wrong hands, become a powerful tool for criminal and hostile activities. For example, they could be used in warfare, 
controlling sophisticated weapon systems, or undermining an adversary's defenses by rapidly decrypting communication security. The superior ability of quantum computers to crack complex cryptographic algorithms could shake the foundations of digital security, with far-reaching consequences for privacy, financial systems, and national security. In the area of cyber attacks, quantum computers could easily bypass conventional security measures. They can break through conventional encryption at any time and open the door to cyber criminals. Another danger could be the ability to circulate perfectly disguised false reports at lightning speed. By quickly analyzing and processing large amounts of data, algorithms could be misused to influence political processes or conduct propaganda. Imagine a false report, indistinguishable from the truth, announcing the impact of an asteroid within a few hours or the violent death of a politician. Both could lead to mass panic, the collapse of financial markets, or false reactions from security forces and the military. However, it's also certain that new security technologies will be developed with the new possibilities offered by computers. A high-performance computer can itself bring new ideas into the world on how to protect people's data, news channels, the internet, and the financial markets. Perfect or fatal? Quantum computer meets AI. What happens when a quantum computer is brought together with artificial intelligence? The union of the two has the potential to push the boundaries of computer technology and cognitive science even further and enable progress and automation on an unprecedented scale. But can AI and quantum computers also become a danger? Again, it would depend on the people who handle the technologies, who programs the AIs for what purpose, and what capabilities they are equipped with. In horror scenarios, AI and quantum computers become independent and take over the world. But honestly, do you believe that? Or do you rather believe that both technologies, cleverly combined, will enable even more progress and a better life? Quantum AI systems could open up completely new paths in robotics, accelerate and perfect manufacturing processes, revolutionize industry, and enable completely new technologies. Click subscribe now and be part of every new video.